Alicia Adams, who was once a supporter of the People's National Congress, explained that the incident occurred on Friday evening while in the vicinity of Orange Walk, Borda. After being approached by a group of friends, Aubrey Norton showed up and followed her as she was heading to her vehicle. Adams stated that he verbally assaulted her and persons nearby had to intervene so that she could have made it to her car where the police was summoned. Upon arriving, officers, having ascertained the seriousness of the matter, escorted both persons to the Elboy Sound police station. He said, I assaulted you. If you know, I would do you, and nothing wouldn't come out of it. I said, you are assaulting me, and it's continued um, abusing me verbally, right? So I left, and I went over the road towards my car, and Arby Norton kept walking behind me, right? and um, he went to his waist and that is when one of the same girls that was with him came and she hold on to me and said, girl, go in your car, go in your car because um, we, are women, we are women alike, go in your car while the other one was holding him back. During that time, the woman related that she had to seek an escort to a secure location since Norton instructed someone to look out for her when she leaves the station. She added that threats were made by Norton to have her family removed from their Campbellville home. The badge coming in the door now, coming around the counter, and there was a girl there who held on to him and pulled him out of the station. So right by the window, he said, you watching me now? Watch me, God. You watching me now? I felt so fearful for my life. I left my car there, and I had to be escorted to, I wouldn't disclose where I was, I didn't sleep home because he threatened me and my family and my car is still there at the station. I didn't drive my car because he took my car number. The woman is contending that it is not the first time threats were made by Norton ever since she pulled support from the PNC and joined the PPP.